we can continue, I'm going to need to borrow something from the audience. Uh, let's see. Can I borrow that ring you're wearing? Do you sure. mind? Okay. Because the piece we're going to present to you is called Ring Finger. Cigarette. I'm all out, and the only ones they sell here in the casino are those foreign kind. And I don't know about you, but I find foreign cigarettes much too strong for my taste. I'm sorry, I do seem to be rambling on. I, I haven't even asked you your name. Mr. Bondage. I admire your taste, Miss. Plenty. Good and plenty. Is this your first time in Ringfinger's Casino? This is my first time in any casino. And I don't know about you, but I find gambling hard work. It makes me so thirsty. Well, I'd love to buy you a drink, Miss. Plenty. But unfortunately, I have a business meeting this evening. Perhaps later. Tonight? Exactly. Before you go, would you... Could you do something for me again with your hands? My car. Until later. It's late. Sorry, but the traffic was incredible. No time for that. Here's a new item that just came out of the lab. I think you'll find it most useful. Don't put that on. Why? That ring possesses an extraordinary power. Here, read the instructions. Miss Henny Penny, will you step in here, please? This is the part you'll find useful. I quite agree. Do you recognize these, Bondage? Of course. The only device our lab has come up with that is completely inescapable. The eternal restraining cubes. Are you going to give me a crack at it? Indirectly. You're going to do it with Miss Henny Penny. It's about time.
The ability to move from one place to the other. I can see where this could come in quite handy. Thank you, Miss Annie Penny. Have you ever heard of a man named Ring Finger? Well, yes. As a matter of fact, I was just in this casino. Well, we have information that his casino is a front for something. So you'll have to go back there and see if you can find anything interesting. I already have. James, the instructions. And be careful with that ring. You can count on me. the bar is closed. You won't be able to buy me that drink you promised. I never go back on a promise. But James, what about you? Three was a good year. Light, delicate, with just a hint of the, uh, of the unexpected. <laughs> I don't think you'll be needing this any longer, Mr. Bondage. <laughs> But I will. I have the world's largest collection of rings. Diamond rings, emerald rings, little orphan Annie Dakota rings. But this, this is my prized possession. Not only does it make me stylish and fashionable, it also makes me the most powerful man on earth. Why, with this ring in my hands, there is nothing I can't do. Why, I could make copies and encrypt an entire army. Or perhaps sailors would be fun. <laughs> you see, the possibilities are endless. Yes, endless. And it is mine. All mine. <laughs> James, I'm so sorry. Ringfinger made me do it. He kidnapped my sister, my daughter, my sister, my daughter, my si Thank you. I wouldn't release her unless I helped trap you. That's all right. I won't hold it against you. Oh, James, I wish you would. And I thought your hands were amazing. What can I do to help? Get me the ring. Well, Mr. Bondage, you may wonder what that is hovering over your body. It is not a sun lamp. <laughs> it is an industrial laser. <laughs> Laser is capable of cutting through any material known to man. I'm sure you'd love to see it in action. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. Bondage, it looks like you're going to live up to your name, or should I say, die up to it? <laughs> in case you should wake up, I think this will keep you in your place. <laughs> Faster, men! Faster! 